to the first update that is apple intelligence okay so apple has this event and i think we were excited right from the start when we uh, discussed the open ai events we discussed microsoft events even if you are not an apple user this is important for you i'll tell you why because all of this might also get replicated to android and basically looking at how ai is inbuilt into everything that you'll now do on iphone it's really cool because this is not at all the way we were using our phones just a few months back okay uh, i'll just walk you through a few very cool things that i think you should know okay so uh, the the most interesting part definitely is that uh it is now going to be partnered with open ai so you are now going to use siri with chat gpt and i think that is one of the biggest most important updates um they have announced their partnership but all of these features will be releasing much later in this year it's not yet released right now so basically now it is inbuilt in every single tool that you use within your apple ecosystem if you're writing emails you will just have uh, chat gpt that will give you recommendations and all of that uh if you're messaging you have it right over there if you see your right like you can make the tone more friendly more professional more concise uh all of these things you can rewrite using ai if you're writing an important message or something like that uh and all of these options will directly be embedded within each of these apps like you won't have to go to separate uh, you won't have to go to chat gpt separately get the output and then go ahead and paste it here so super cool things and you can see how it will generate images from notes as well like there was a rough sketch of a building and um, of some architecture and this was the image that it gave so uh, extremely cool things are there yeah some fun things like you can generate your own emojis if you just describe it like it's super fun it's yeah so basically within siri you can see here you have chat gpt inbuilt right so siri uh, can now access chat gpt and i think it's very easy like they're just making it simpler for us to use ai with every step remember earlier in the earliest days of chat gpt you had this web version that's it now few months back they launched the desktop version then before that they launched their app so now they are integrating it within every possible app that you use so uh, extremely user friendly things are happening right now i think in the next few months it will just be everywhere in everything that you use yes chat gpt integrated which was a major news few quick updates on also great when it comes to images let's jump in with genmoji you want a t-rex on a surfboard you've got a t-rex on a surfboard simply type a description of the emoji you want how about a smiley face with cucumber eyes or something random like a squirrel dj and because apple intelligence knows who's in your photo library you can turn your friend v into an astronaut next up image playground create so yeah basically all of these things that we discussed uh, that was like a brief introduction about apple okay uh photos are also getting interesting now like you will be able to search a text within photos like just within your search button on the photos app and this is extremely cool like i remember i've taken a photo of a book from a bookstore that i wanted to read a few years back and i simply have to go to photos search books and give me like all the photos where there are books so very easy to search i think the most cool update was also calculator like if you've not seen their calculator video do check it out after this on youtube on ipad if you just write something some mathematical formula it will just give you the answer in the next fraction of a second so yeah anything you can write like you can write some sums you can write some multiplication division addition anything it will you just have to write it and it'll give you the answer in a written way in the next second